Welcome back to Tuesday Tips. Our interviewing series continues, and this week we're talking about pacing. HUD says pacing involves the subtle mirroring of characteristics of the speaker, such as their posture, movements, and rate of speech. Instead of emphasizing differences between yourself and the applicant, HUD wants you to find common ground with the other party. The agency says that's what effective communicators can do. They establish rapport by creating a shared experience. But how? Well, here are some HUD-provided examples of pacing. Number one, you could match your rate of speech to theirs, unless, of course, it's inappropriate. Number two, you can also adjust your volume to match theirs unless, again, of course, it's inappropriate. In other words, if they're yelling at you, there's no need to yell back. Number three, try to notice and use some of the same words and phrases as the person. For example, if someone refers to their TANF payment as aid, it might be appropriate for you to use that term as well. Poor grammar, however, would be mimicking and not pacing. Number four, Approximate the speaker's gestures without being obvious or mimicking. An example here is to smile if they smile. If they show concern in their face, well, you should express concern in your face as well. And number five, approximate the speaker's general posture. This could be a tough one for you, depending on the other person's body language. However, if their body language suggests that they may be frightened or insecure, don't tower over them to exacerbate those feelings. HUD also offers a word of caution for you. It's possible for your pacing to become obvious. This can be perceived as condescending or like you're making fun of the person. And that, as you know, is not the goal. You can download HUD's full guide to interviewing up top and below. Next Tuesday, we'll be live on Facebook at 9 a.m. with the last installment in our series. We'll talk about body language and we'll take your questions. We'll see you then.